happens with that with everything else removed and that gives us a, a really good cause and effect kind of relationship with high you know predictive power as to whether or not you know the one thing is causing another thing that's going to be like a one-to-one -one comparison anytime we can do that that would be great because then we'd be able to you know that's what we tend to try to do to isolate things to see a cause and effect but obviously when systems get more complex in the real world when we're looking at systems the combination of things could result in in different results that you cannot get to you can't because the combination becomes to some a different result than if than the individual parts right so so now you have so that means that you have to look at some systems you would think using multiple factors to see if there's a cause and effect relationship now just realize obviously that if you have a one-to-one -one comparison it's much easier to measure to see if there's a correlation than if you have multiple things going on so the level of complexity will will expand greatly once you go to multiple uh, regression type of analysis and your models will be a whole lot more complex that's what you have to do but again the 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 the, the surety that you have that your model is producing the right stuff becomes way more complex as you as you introduce more items into the into the factor so for example when you're predicting house prices you're going to use things like the size the location uh the location and age of the house now obviously with a house if you're trying to think the price of a house how much should you sell it for or how much should you buy a house for we always hear the mantra location 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 right but that's really only one factor because uh, the size of the house is going to be a factor as well and the age of the house is going to be a factor so when you're trying to come up with a model to predict the price of a house then it, it's going to get quite complex quite quickly and your model is probably not going to be perfect due to the fact that every house is unique you know right every house has its own location has its own age and size and so on so you can try to come up with models that give you predictive power and you can come up with complex models uh, based on on multiple you know regression analysis but again as you do that obviously your models are going to get uh, much more complex okay so correlation does not equal causation that, there's our common phrase used often as a mantra why is this important Misunder uh, misinterpreting correlation can lead to wrong calculations and misguided actions so it became becomes quite important because when people see a correlation we want to as human beings determine that there's a cause and effect relationship and if we do that and get it wrong then we're going to be taking action on the wrong data so remember that if there is a cause and effect relationship we should have a correlation right there should be a correlation if there were a cause and effect relationship but if there is a cause and effect or if there is a correlation it doesn't necessarily mean that there's a cause and effect relationship it's kind of the first step that we would do mathematical calculation to see correlation to then make the prediction as to or try to give validation to a hypothesis that we might have had already that there's a cause and effect relationship right but it's not the final factor so specious correlations relationships that seem meaningful but are not due to coincidence or external that are due to coincidence or external factors so if you're looking at a whole bunch of data sets it's possible that you find correlate you will find correlations that just happen basically randomly right there's no reason that the things should be moving in alignment with each other but they are and when you find those and you realize that they're that they're specious it's kind of funny because then you can come up with like scenarios well how would that be that this these two things line up because the, obviously they don't that's why it's funny but so relationship between ice cream sales and shark attacks for example if you just looked at all the data and and for some reason you look at these two data sets and as ice cream sales go up shark attacks go up well probably they're probably not related now you could imagine a scenario maybe they're somehow related in some way because ice cream sales went up because it's hotter uh there it's hotter and there more people are at the beach or so I don't know you could you can kind of try to figure out if there is some kind of link between the two but the point here is that there might not be a link between the two that might be a, a completely useless exercise because the, maybe there is no cause and effect relationship it just happened to randomly come up that these two things that are totally not related I mean you might be talking about like 
ice cream sales somehow in the middle of the country, not anywhere by the ocean or in the middle of any landmass versus shark attacks, which you would think would only happen at the beach. How would that be correlated? Can't possibly be correlated, but there, I mean, it can't possibly be a cause and effect relationship, even though you might have this random correlation kind of thing. Number of people who drowned by falling into pool and films uh, Nicolas Cage appeared in. So again, those things would be completely not correlated. If you looked at those data sets and you're like, like pool drowned-ins somehow are correlated mathematically to the number of films that Nicolas Cage has appeared in. Does that, I mean, could maybe, does, does Nicolas Cage cause people to l not swim well or want to, want to, jump in a pool even though they can't you know that doesn't make any sense right so but but again if you just looked at enough data randomly you will find correlations like that so that's why the phrase comes into play correlation does not necessarily equal causation even though correlation is an important step to try to determine if there is causation by the way the next question of course if we determine that there is causation is to make sure that we have the causal factor correct because the next question would be what is the causal factor in the cause and effect relationship and the other common problem and sometimes manipulation that people make when they're being dishonest is to reverse the cause and effect relationship between uh, the data points and if you're acting on something based on the concept or idea that there's a mathematical relationship or correlation and that there's an assumption that that's due to a causation but then you flipped what's the causal factor in that relationship that could lead to the wrong action, right? You, want, you need to get the causal factor correct as well.